Hi, in this video we will be looking into how I set up my MacBook for game and app development. We will start from unboxing MacBook Pro M1. Then we will have a brief overview of top features. Next we will be looking into first time boot up settings. Then we will be looking into some basic settings that can speed up and enhance the productivity on your Mac. And next I will be showing you the software I use for app and game development. As this is a 256 GB variant. At the end of this video we will be looking into how much storage is left for actual development. Here we are unboxing MacBook Pro M1 2020. It's a 8GB RAM and 256GB storage variant. It comes with a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable and a 61W power adapter. Here we have a first look of our 13-inch MacBook Pro. It comes with Apple latest M1 chip. And Mac OS Big Sur specially is optimized for Apple M1 chips. This machine have an amazing display and it's a bit brighter than the MacBook Air. I would say touch bar is a must have feature. And using touch ID you don't need to enter your password again. MacBook Pro has bigger trackpad as compared to Air. These are the simple steps if you are first time booting up your MacBook. Select your language and your country and click on continue. And these are the next steps which are very simple and straightforward. At this point we are done with the boot up settings and your Mac is ready to use. Next we will be looking into the specification of this MacBook and the actual storage we have at the startup. Now let's take a look on the settings I always prefer. By default we have to press down the finger for click. We can change it to tap to click. Now we just need to touch on a pad for a click. Next is a battery percentage. I always try to keep it at front. And after that I keep my dock clear. I keep only the important applications on the dock. To remove any application shortcut you can drag and drop on the desktop. And from here we can also resize it. I used dark mode theme. Let's see how we can change it. By default we have several different wallpapers. Let's see how we can change them. If you want to quickly switch your users, you can always enable the login icon. Okay, enough for the settings, now let's update the Mac OS. As you can see, after updating the OS, we are left with 218 GB storage. The first software I will be installing is Xcode. It will be used for iOS app development. 
I will also utilizing it with Unity for app and game development. Now at this point we have a remaining storage of 212 GB. Next I will be installing Unity for cross platform game development. Unity can be used for app development as well. For my requirement I will be installing different versions of Unity. Further inside Unity I will be installing Android, iOS and few other components. Here we are updating iMovie. For the project source code management we will be installing source tree. Now we have a few more updates for the OS, let's update them. For 3D modeling I will be using Blender. To make the installation a bit easier we will be installing Homebrew. Here you can see I have installed one more version of Unity. For my online courses and YouTube channel I will be installing Final Cut Pro. I am in a Google ecosystem. To make it easier, I will be installing Google Chrome. Next is Microsoft NTFS to read and write external drives. Google Drive for the cloud storage. WhatsApp app for the quick communication. I use Slack for mostly my office communication. After updating all these and installing these new softwares, we are left with 251 gigabyte storage. Performance wise, this MacBook is good, but maybe you have to struggle with the storage. To resolve that issue, you can always use external devices. Switching to M1, it will really boost up your working streamline. If you are working on an Xcode, making a build is very fast. I hope this video helped you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next.